Welcome back to Fun the Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back with another hockey card opening. Today it is going to be two boxes of the new upper deck. They put upper deck, but it's really MJ Holdings um, mystery boxes. This one obviously took a little bit of a beating. Uh, so probably open that one second. You guys know how over here I like my damaged box mojo. Uh, so we'll probably open that one second. But yeah, got two of these. Uh, looking for five packs um in it plus one mystery item can be um i think that i've seen a little bit of everything we'll just you know what we're just gonna turn around we'll turn the camera around we'll look right into it uh but here we go uh you get two of these these cost 50 dollars canadian so for me where i live that's like 115 dollars taxes in shipped to my door though uh through walmart uh, these were still on the website the other day so i'm assuming they made a ton of them um, I've seen a couple of videos of this. I've seen that there's like some Team Canada pack things, and some of those are loaded. It's a big box, so we're gonna open this. So, yep, we got the inside of it here. We got a hanger box of Series 2. That's gonna have a chance of you get a young gun in every, you know, two of these essentially. You have a one and two chance. Uh, we got other things here we got 21 22 series 2 that's retail but for byfield um mctavish raymond cider uh potential cole caulfield young gun canvas um so lundell eklund a lot of guys in there there's this is actually kind of a stat class uh extended for 21 22 not as good uh holtz turcott uh paterka and Seth Jarvis. We got Series 1 for last year. So that's Matt Beneers, Matt Boldy, those guys. Uh, we got Retail Artifacts, which is not what you want to see. Uh, and we got Ice. So that's our first. So we're going to open up these. So the Hanger Box is our one mystery item they kind of have in here. Um, yeah, could be Hobby Packs. I don't think Ice is Hobby Packs. We're going to open up Artifacts first. It's probably my least favorite out of all of them. Um, this is for the content. It's just mystery packs, right? For 50 bucks. I spent $50 on worse. We kind of all know that. Uh, I think we've all seen some of the stuff I've opened. Uh, but here we go. Josh Anderson. He's already sticking. Also, that wasn't the cards, uh, snapping out of my shoulder because I'm old now. Uh, Seagrass, <laughs> second year. Uh, Shane Gossip here. In the green, I don't see any numbering on this. Nope, no numbering. It's 22, 23 artifacts. No numbering on that. Cal Peterson and Cole Cylinder. So kind of exactly how I thought artifacts would go. Uh, we'll go with ice. See how the ice treats us. It's 21, 22. Once again, all those guys, Cole Caulfield, Raymond, you name it. Uh, all those could be potential in here. Vita Vancheck. We got Carey Price. And Mort Cider. So there you go. And the orange with the Denisenko behind it. Not numbered. These are just, uh, they don't actually say it on them. Just like an orange ice. So nice card, but I'm assuming probably not really any value to that. Uh, we'll go with. Young Gun, so this actually has a security code bar thing in it. You can feel it. So is this a retail pack? Yeah, a gravity feed pack? That's not good. If that's the case, let's see here. Does it say? Young Gun's one in 96. Oh my, Atlanta. Oh, that's canvas, Never mind. That makes more sense. Yeah, one in four packs. Okay. So we got Nate Schmidt. We got Cody CC. Uh, Brock McGinn. We got a records. Ovi. There's worse inserts to have. Um, these come numbered. Everything else, this is just the base. But there you go. Back when you only had one hit per pack. Uh, but NHL record collections, a little off center, but. 
Still a nice one. Obi is uh, never a bad name to hit um, when it comes to an insert. Like I've kind of said a million times before, you're looking for guys when it comes to inserts like Ovi, Crosby, McDavid. Um, you know, those are the kind of guys you're looking for if you want any value at all. Uh, but these are usually, I don't know if those actually go for anything. They used to go for a couple bucks, but uh, we'll hold off. Go 21 22. We got John Marino. We got a Canvas Young Guns for the Colorado Avalanche. This is Sampo Ranta. So, there you go, Sampo Ranta. Young Guns Canvas. So, we really beat the odds. You're on one in, you know, 96 packs for the Young Guns Canvas. So, not a bad hit. Nothing before or after it. And we'll get into this before we get into the hanger box, and then we'll get into the second mystery box. Let's see if we get any luck there. So here we go. Looking for bold veneers, and we're getting a nope. Center of attention with Elias Lindholm. So little insert, but nothing crazy. And then let's get in the hanger box. This guy, that's who we're looking for. Connor Bedard, looking for him. So 50 bucks for you know, the chance of Bedard. His blasters go for more than that now. Uh, so you're kind of getting the potential of one of these packs. In it, these come, oh, let's see if I can show them. So the packs come in this little slot there. They come in this little tin foil pack. And then you're gonna have a bunch of base cards, all of this. So like 90% of this is base cards. That's a whole lot of cards. Three in the middle, you're gonna have your hits just like anything else from this year. So none of this matters. None of this matters. These are all just base cards. Uh, so we got Markstrom, no longer there. We do we get a young gun? It's not him, but it is Walteri Morella. And then Jordan Cairo in the portraits. So hit a young gun. Hit a young gun, just not the guy we were looking for in all that. So on to the next one. On to the next one. Once again, this one is came all kind of crunched. They just come in these like oversized like shipping envelopes. Um, at least my two did. So they come <laughs> kind of just there, probably bouncing around, probably under 17 other things that are the post guys bringing or whoever they they use for the shipping service um yeah, so they get kind of banged up i've had other stuff come from them and it's the same thing um usually they come pretty pretty banged up from them uh, because of it so see if we can get some damaged box mojo so we got hanger box again and then what packs do we got Packs are also just like floating around in there, getting, you know, smashed up. So uh, let's see what we got here. We got, so the hanger box, we got 21-22 series one. So Cole Caulfield, Trevor Zegras. Yeah, MVP. We got series one again. Ooh. Nathan McKinnon Hunt, that's the last one. There we go. It's not, not bad. Not bad. MVP gets open first. Nobody cares about this. This is 23, 23, 24. Maybe it could be Bedard. Maybe I'll find a Bedard in here. Noah Hannafin. Nope. Braden Shen in the MVP talent. Ely Tolvanen. Martin Jones. Patty Kane. Ron Blackhawk. So... Nothing really in any of that. That's the MVP life. Uh, 21-22 Series 2. We'll go with that. Pretty excited about that. Pack 2013-2014. Uh, we got just a marquee rookie. Lucas Raymond. Right name. Wrong card. Right? You're looking for the young gun of him instead. Uh, guy I'm looking up. If anybody has any numbered stuff of him, send me a message. Um, looking at stuff for his, Boldy, um, Dylan Gunther, 
Mace McTavish, a couple guys I'm looking for. But always looking to pick up stuff if you guys are looking to sell. No, I'm not buying at... I had one person that I kind of worked out of, kind of figured out what an inscribed future watch of Mace McTavish would go for now um, by my kind of calculations um, from what his regular future watch sold for back when the last one's actually sold. He hasn't had an inscribed future watch shell in like seven, eight months now. Um, but I was like, hey, this is what they used to sell for the base. And this is what the inscribed sold for, for then. So that's what the base sells for now. So they inscribed to pay you this. And it's like, well, yeah, but it's going to go up when the season hits. But if you're going to tell me that the season's, the price is going to go up when the season hits, don't even bother selling me something. <laughs> Let's go off of some kind of comp that I can go off of. We get Connor Garland, former Moncton Wildcat, Connor Garland, but not the carriage you're looking for there. It's going to looking for Zegers Caulfield. My hunt for Cole Caulfield still continues, apparently. Um, just have not been able to hit him. Just put this off to the side there. Uh, literally, I've opened up a decent amount of Series 1, I feel like. Never pulled his young gun. I don't know why, but for me, it just feels like a short print. Do we get a young gun here? There we go. So here we go. Milan Lucic. It's going to be for the Coyotes. A Jack McBean. So. I knew it wasn't going to be Gunther Series 2. So I didn't think it was going to be Gunther. A couple other guys, but... Jack McBain, he's an NHL player, plays in the NHL. He's not some guy that played a game and now plays over in, you know, the English, you know, some random European league or something like that. No, nope, he actually plays in the NHL. So I would take NHL players, young guns. I'd obviously take, you know, but Nears or Boldy or something like that over it instead. But here we go. Connor Bedard Hunt, once again. I've seen some terrible ones out there. Like MVP, I've seen Victory. Um, I've seen just a bunch of not great stuff. Like 2020, 21 extended, which is like the worst extended. Um, there's been a whole lot of stuff that's come out. I guess, oh yeah, backdrop for the day. We got Makar, um, we got uh, Duchesne, and we got Rantanen, so... We got, don't think we got a young gun. Don't think we got one. Maybe, Brad, Wyatt and Kuzmenko. Nope. Durando, Miko Rantanen, and Pasta. Nope, Bergeron. Bergeron for that. And then a ton more base. So, not series one, so I didn't have to look for, you know, the Bedard. If you ever open up any series one, look through all the cards, all the base, um, for that Bedard draft card. Just do it. You never know where it could be. So uh, if you guys haven't yet, hit the like, hit the subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. Uh, check out links down below for both Slab Sharks. I'm actually getting ready to kind of send out a bunch of cards for people, uh, myself. Um, but if you don't live near me and you want to send them out yourself, you can just mail out all your cards to them, fill out the form down below with my logo on the top. Helps me, gets, gives me a little bit of a kickback. Um, I get 2% back. So, do you have a young gun? No, maybe. I haven't opened up this. I don't know if I've ever opened up 2013, 2013 2014. Maybe not. Uh, Jamie Ben, Brad, Boston Strong. I'll keep that card for somebody. Uh, it's Noski. Do you have a young gun? Do have a young gun. It's not the guy I'm looking for. But it's Michael Latta. So we did get, we once again beat the odds. Michael Latta. It's actually not terrible centering. So I'd probably be like a, a little bit of like shaving. It's actually not bad shape for like a card that old in a pack that was just bouncing around in a bigger box that you know once again mj holdings kind of had going through everything so hey not the worst thing in the world um it's 50 bucks so 50 bucks i got five packs plus a bonus item which would have been um this you know for both of them 
I think that's gonna be there's gonna be lots of them. We like said 24 cards. Woo! Really, it's only three cards that matter in it. Um, but we got one, two, three, four, four young guns with one being a canvas. NHL records. Hey, what's in? I've spent $115 on worse things. Uh, really like that. Right there, I had the chance at Bedard twice. Uh, I had a chance at McKinnon, Young Gun. Um, you know, other Beniers, Boldy, everything. Like, get a couple decent ones and you can definitely make some money um, or have a fun time. And it's another thing here. There is a, a value, and I've said it before on the channel. There's a value to just having fun. It's just fun to open up a product. It's fun to open up cards, right? We all love it. I love it. You love it. That's why probably while you're watching the video. Um, so now you're getting to open up some different packs from different years. You don't know what they're going to be. Everything else, you know, it's just the fun of it. It's not just a regular box where you're opening up, you know, for 50 bucks. You know, nowadays you're getting close to the price of blasters at Walmart and everything else. Um, you know, for 50 bucks, it's a fun little, you know, mystery rip. Uh, you know, with potential and different stuff, right? Like I said, Bedard, still an expensive card. Like I said, I had a chance of that twice. Um, you know, have the chance at different stuff. Like I think they have on this potential at uh, 15, 16, Series 2, Series 1, 15, 16, Series 1, uh, 16, 17, Series 1. So you get chances at, like, you know, Matthews, McDavid, McKinnon, um, you know, a couple other people in here. So lots of different chances for stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know, 50 bucks. Now, once again, can go very wrong. Can be like, I could have had MVP and artifacts and, you know, victory all in the same box maybe, right? Like that would be a very, very bad box. Um, but I kind of got lucky, I think, with some of the packs I got. I got one artifacts. and eh. I got ice, I guess, in the first one too. Eh. Um, so like I said, definitely worse options out there. Um, there are some Team Canada boxes, like I said, instead of getting these, I've seen, uh, I've seen that too, that somebody had like the little, the little black boxes and they come with like three or four cards and they're like Team Canada cards. Uh, GP Sports cards actually bought a card off somebody that had it. Um, they talked about it in a video, um, but he opened it up on channel just like I did, uh, and pulled some like massive Crosby card out of like 10, like some patch auto Team Canada it's Crosby or McDavid or somebody like that. And it was a big like Team Canada patch card. Um, so once again, just a fun rip for 50 bucks. Mystery, don't know what you're doing. Uh, if you got like one or two of these and open them with for yourself or with the kids or whatever, uh, I think it'd be a not bad rip. So um, usually I'm not a big fan of some of this stuff. Usually it gets really bad. Um, but I think if you add this and this guy into anything right now, with the cost of what it costs to get his stuff um you know i think it's a fun little rip uh at a chance at it so hope you guys enjoy this like i said if you guys haven't yet hit the like hit the subscribe and for eric from the bench talk to you guys later bye guys